Hey guys, HDV here and welcome to a brand new video. Today we've got quite a few things to go over. Paradise Dragona has been revealed. We have some new events that have been announced. We also have a pretty big trailer rumor to go over for Pokemon Legends ZA as well. There's a lot of things to break down and get into today. If you're excited for the video, make sure to drop a like down below. Let's try and hit 500 likes. It really helps out. Leave a comment with your thoughts on anything we cover in today's video. Subscribe if you're brand new. Ring the notification bell. With all of that out of the way, let's get into the video and I really hope that you enjoy. So, starting things off, we have Paradise Dragona finally being revealed. This was trademarked a while ago. Uh, has some really nice art for the new um, packs and stuff like that. But we do have Cerebi here tweeting out saying, Cerebi update, the next Pokemon TCG set has been officially revealed for Japan. It's called Paradise Dragona and it launches on the 13th of September 2024. Uh, so, as I say, really cool pack art here of Latias, Latios and Alolan Executor. Uh, we have a little bit more information about this as well on Pokey Guardian. Um, just kind of like uh, some of the cards that have been revealed for it already. So we uh, obviously have the uh, Alolan Executor here. We have Latias here. We have Execute, Klefki. Uh, we have Dialga, I believe that is. Uh, and then a couple of other Pokemon as well. Again, some of the cards that have been revealed. A couple of the EX cards. Uh, nothing crazy, really. Obviously, sometimes there's like maybe little hints and stuff towards uh, future games and stuff. But I don't think we'll have any kind of Legend ZA um, sort of artwork in TCG and probably until next year. So uh, this is, again, just another Scarlet and Violet set. Uh, and again, it's just all about dragons, so a pretty, a pretty cool set. I'm, I'm assuming like there'll probably be some like DLC stuff in this as well in regards to those new Pokemon. But either way, that is Paradise Dragona. Uh, moving on, we do have the Worlds event that has been revealed for Pokemon Go. Uh, so we have Cerebi here tweeting out saying, Cerebi update, the Pokemon Go Pokemon World Championships 2024 event has been announced. It runs from the 16th of August through to the 20th of August adds World Championships 2024 Pikachu into the game. Uh, so we obviously have some pretty big information about that on the actual website of Pokemon Go. As I say, this is uh, obviously to celebrate Pokemon Worlds 2024. Uh, and again, hopefully we get some information before that. Hopefully we get some information at Worlds. We'll have to uh, we'll have to wait and see. So we have, uh, starting things off, uh, the, uh, the Pokemon Go World Championships. So you got like, some new kind of avatar, sort of, um, I don't know what they're called, like style... I guess poses and everything like that. Uh, you can obviously watch it on Twitch, YouTube, everything like that. Um, we have some new kind of clothes and stuff. Again, this is just all merch that you'll get at Worlds. Uh, and then we obviously have Pokemon debuts here. So uh, Friday, the August the 16th at 10 a.m. to Tuesday, the 20th of August at 8 p.m. local time. Pokemon Go is celebrating the 2024 Pokemon World Championships in all things at Go Battle League. So Pokemon debuts, a new costume Pikachu will appear during the event. World Championship 2024 Pikachu, which can be shiny. Uh, there's event bonus as well. So up to five special trades can be made each day. So that's, that's a lot of special trades for one day. You can use a charge TM to help a shadow Pokemon forget the charged attack frustration. So that's obviously very, very useful as well. Uh, wild Encounters, the following Pokemon will appear more frequently in the wild. So Mankey, Lickitung, Maril, Paldean Wooper, Swablu, Fletchling, Carbink, Grubbin, and Maridi. Uh, all of these can be shiny apart from Carbink. Uh, and also you can find shiny Skarmory as well. Again, it was just in the Steel event, so I'm assuming probably people are a little bit worried about, a little bit uh, tired of seeing Skarmory. But either way, Field Research Task Rewards, so you can get the World Championship 2024 Pikachu, Swablu, Mianfu, and Marini, all of which can be shiny. There's paid research as well for $5, and there's also some raids as well. So in one-star raids, you'll get your Pikachus, Mianfus, three-star raids, Lickitung, Galarian, Stunfisk, and Diggersby. And then in shadow raids, you'll be able to see Shadow Magnemite, Dratini, Wooper, and Gligar. And then three-star raids, you'll see shine, uh, Shadow Wobbuffet, Shadow Curlia, and Shadow Sableye. Curly would be kind of useful to get as well because obviously Shadow Glade is so good in um, Great League. Uh, and then a featured attacks as well. So certain Pokemon encountered during the event will know a featured attack. So Mianfu uh, will know High Jump Kick. Lickitung will know Body Slam. Uh, Quagsire will learn Aqua Tail. Arteria with Moon Blast. Charge Ball with Volt Switch. And Talonflame with Incinerate. Uh, new avatar items as well. And then uh, there's also some new bonuses for Shared Sky as well. So four time starters from Win Rewards. Uh, the maximum number of sets you can play per day will increase from 5 to 20. So this is obviously the Go Battle League stuff. Uh, and then also there's some things you can buy online as well. So that's the uh, Pokemon Go World Championships event. Of course, that is taking place during Worlds, which is later this month. Uh, and then also, I wanted to quickly go over this theory as well from Soul Silver Up. I haven't really covered a theory in a while here, but this was quite interesting. Uh, because this could 
I guess means something for Pokemon Legends EA. It could just be a massive coincidence, but either way, we have Soul Silver out here saying, I wonder if Pokemon Legends EA is set in the past. Will they possibly explain and or show how and why Zygarde ended up in Terminus Cave or better yet in Resolution Cave in Alola? Now, I, I honestly think that we were probably supposed to get Pokemon Z and that was going to explain it all. We didn't get it. It was scrapped, whatever. Um, so now, hopefully, we do get a bit more of a backstory about Zygarde in Legends EA because... Yeah, it was just randomly in this cave, and it was just randomly in Alola, and we just don't know why. It was just randomly placed there, and then all these Zygarde kind of cubes and what out kind of popping all over Alola. There's just no backstory for it. So I'd like for them to tell us why, just so we get a little bit more lore. But yeah, it's a bit weird how he's just randomly popping up in these two locations. Zygarde also literally cries ZDA when it's first ever encountered. Maybe that cry was meant to be the first tease to part of its cut plot from Pokemon, uh, the cut Pokemon Z game. Uh, these two different caves also have the same layout and areas, even though they are in two separate regions. Could these caves be something along the lines of being the same place found in different dimensions, or could the caves somehow move? The possibilities are endless, curious, and mysterious. In reality, these were probably just fun uh, meta references that Game Freak put in there instead of deep lore connections, but who knows? And we also have this follow-up here as well saying, I've seen a lot of people getting caught up on the if Pokemon Legends, are, are, uh, Pokemon Legends EA is set in the past part of this. But upon thinking about it more, if it was set in the future instead, that would still wouldn't change these questions I presented. They could still answer them if it was set in the future. I just want to be clear that Zygarde's cry could just be a random Pokemon cry that could be a coincidence, or possible Game Freak used the original cry as inspiration for the, meaning, uh, for the naming of Legends EA. So, I mean, from my standpoint, I think it'll probably be just set in the past, just because Legends Arceus was, and we're just kind of basing it on that. But I would absolutely love it if we could go into the future, we could go into the past, we could go to present day Kalos, because it would just allow more Pokemon to be in the game. So you go to one area in the past, you have a selection of Pokemon that appear. You go to that same area in the future, a different selection of Pokemon appear. And you could just do that with different locations. And yeah, we have had a lot of like kind of past and future themes a lot lately. Obviously, Pokemon Legends Arceus set in the past. Pokemon Scarlet and Violet had sort of futuristic connotations with Paradox Forms. Prehistoric connotations with the Parado uh, Paradox Forms. Um, so now, maybe we get another one of those. I wouldn't be surprised. I would love to see it, but uh, I also wouldn't be surprised if it was just set in the past. But we'll obviously have to wait and see. I think when we get our first like actual gameplay trailer of Legends EA, we'll know pretty, we'll know pretty early on in the trailer when it's going to be set because you'll be able to see from the architecture, the buildings, stuff like that. It, you'll be able to tell if it's a little bit more futuristic, modern day, or if it's quite set, you know, if it's set quite far in the past. So, yeah, we'll, we'll know pretty, pretty quickly. I mean, I'm not going to be paying much attention to that. I'm going to be paying much attention. I'm going to be paying attention to what the game actually looks like. Uh, but yeah, that'll be something to obviously just dissect um, as the, the trailer kind of uh, has been out and stuff like that. But either way, that's all that. Speaking of trailers, though, it's a nice segue into this rumor here uh, that was posted on 4chan talking about the next trailer for Pokemon Legends ZA. This was posted a while ago on the 23rd of July. Uh, it's titled Pokemon Legends ZA. It was posted by Anonymous. Obviously, it was posted on 4chan, so take it with a grain of salt. Um, now, we are kind of hoping that we are going to get a new trailer this month, whether it be at Worlds, whether it be at Gamescom, whether it be in a Presents uh, this week. I'm currently recording this before any kind of Presents has been announced. Fingers are crossed. Um, this is the week where a lot of people have speculated we're going to be getting something uh, around Wednesday, Thursday, Friday-ish. Um, so we'll obviously have to wait and see if that's the case. But either way, this is a new rumor for a uh, the, the new Legends EA trailer. So it says, trailer information. Uh, the game revolves around Lumio City. Now the first city fully powered by electricity in the world, thanks to the Prism Foundation and its tower. You play as uh, an Amnesiac character who woke up one day in the outskirts of the city by a floating green small Pokemon, the small form of Zygarde. Uh, the Professor gives... Uh, what does he give us? What does he give us? You one of these Pokemon, so Turtwig, Scorbunny, or Mudkip. A very interesting, I guess, selection of starters for this game. Not really a trio many people have kind of spoke about. I don't think it will be this three at all. Something is going wrong in the city and Pokemon in certain areas are starting to act uh, erratic after blackouts. Uh, the trailer features Mega Pangoro and Mega Heliolisk. Also features a new evolution or form for Eldegoss and also a new evolution or form for Oloma Mola. So straight off the bat, I cannot see the first trailer revealing two new Mega Evolutions and two new forms as well. Now, I think we can all agree that the, the kind of hype for Legends EA isn't at what it should be you know the original initial reveal trailer didn't really offer a lot there was no gameplay uh there was obviously no new pokemon or anything like that 
So it was very much like, yeah, it was hype. It was hype for a couple of weeks after that. And then you could kind of see the decline of the hype. Like it, it gradually went down. And right now is tumbleweed territory. You know, there's not a lot of people that are like really, really excited about the game. I mean, we're all excited for it, but no one's really like talking about it and hyped about it at the moment because it could still be a year away and we haven't seen any gameplay. Um, because it is probably a year away still, I think they are going to keep all their cards close to the chest. I don't think they're going to drop new Mega Evolutions this year. And if they do, it'll probably be revealed at Worlds because that's usually where they announce something pretty big. Um, but if, if, yeah, I just I feel like that is something they reveal the year the game comes out to promote it even more. Because, yeah, obviously it would be hype to see a Mega Pangor and a Mega Heliolisk right now. But that hype will die down. And then, obviously, we've still got all that time until the game comes out as well. So I think if it does come out like... I don't know, summer next year. They could release a few trailers uh, on the build-up. Obviously, we'd get one in the Pokemon Presents in February. And then, let's say it comes out in June. We'd get a, get a trailer in February. Maybe another one in, like, I don't know, maybe April, Mayish time. And then that would be where you get your new Mega Evolutions revealed and stuff like that. Obviously, they wouldn't showcase all of them. Um, but that's that's kind of the time where you really want to hype the game up to get people excited about it. But either way, apparently two new Mega Evolutions and two new Evolutions of form are also, uh, Forms are also going to get dropped in the next trailer. Uh, the Professor looks like the Lumios Girl Leader, but older. Uh, so Clement... Oh, the, Lugia, uh, the Lumios Gym Leader, but older Clement. So some sort of um, descendant from Clement or an ancestor of Clement, depending on when this game is set. Uh, the Rival looks like a young Sycamore Girl. Um, so... Yeah, okay, so that's the Professor and the Rival. Uh, when they show the Prism Foundation, it has a main uh, a man in front of it. I can't read today, apparently. Uh, that looks like Bo 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 Bo, that old animated show. Um, I don't know what that is. I've never seen that show, I don't believe. There was a scene with, like, four people dressed like Holucha, but in different colors. So that's probably just going to be, like, some sort of quest line. I, I mean, even this is even if this is fake, I, I would kind of expect something like that, like a kind of a little group. Um, that's kind of dressing up as a certain Pokemon and then they kind of like appear all over the city and they're going to be like, kind of like a little bit like Looker where they just kind of pop up and maybe they're trying to like solve crimes or something like that. I think it'd be kind of cool, like the whole Lucha gang or something like that. I, I, again, I, I'm expecting a, this game to go like heavy into like questing and stuff like that, especially if the game is just set in Lumio City because we're not going to be able to explore that much. Um, I, I mean, I'm guessing. So yeah you'd need a lot of kind of quests and stuff to keep the game like going and, and again that'd be main quest side quest something like that uh the trailer ends with a shot of the tower and the a from z8 appears before the logo reappears so obviously the first time we saw the trailer the z appeared after pokemon legends so it was like pokemon legends and then we got the z and then we got the a so it'd be interesting this time if we've got pokemon legends the a and then the z um because then it's like well which one's more important but uh, again, we're still kind of unaware of what the A is going to be. Some people think it's going to be a legendary Pokemon. Some people think it's going to be AZ. Um, I personally think it is probably just going to be a new Pokemon. And again, Zygarde is the is the Pokemon that is the it's the last one in the kind of alphabet order of Pokemon because obviously Zygarde, Z, and then Y is the last Pokemon in terms of alphabet. Um, the first Pokemon in terms of the alphabet for for the Pokemon kind of roster is Abra. Um, and maybe because Zygarde is the last Pokemon in the kind of alphabet, maybe the, the A Pokemon is going to be the first Pokemon in the Pokedex, because obviously they just completely are the opposite to each other. So it'd have to be called something like A, A something, or A, B, and then something that begins before R in the alphabet. Because um, I think that'd be a kind of a cool way to do it. So Zygarde's one end, and then this new Pokemon's the other end, and they'd kind of like go against each other in that sense. But um, yeah, that's just kind of like my two cents uh, and my kind of thoughts about that. Uh, it says personal guesses. So the Bobo Bobo guy looked evil, but in like the unsubtle way that you would expect from a children's game. Um, I mean, Pokemon. I I don't like the I don't like the consensus that Pokemon is a children's game. I, I don't think it is at all. Like it is a franchise that's aimed towards the younger audience, but it's not a children's game because when you take a look at like the competitive scene and stuff. It, like there's so much that goes into it it's not a children's like a children's game is like i don't know like viva pinata or something like that you know this is a game where if you're getting into it in competitive like you, you, obviously there are really good children um that are like great at competitive and stuff but you know your, your average child then they're not going to be really getting into the competitive scene with like evs and ivs and stuff like that it's something that you really have to be um really like into to kind of get it and, and yeah i don't know i just bit of a tangent there i just don't think it, it 
it's just, I don't know, it just kind of rubs me the wrong way when people are like, oh, Pokemon's a children's game. I, d I don't think it is. If they knew the full picture, it's just it's just not a children's game. I'm just going off on a complete tangent there. But anyway, most probably the villain uh, seems like he's also the head uh, or president of the Prison Foundation. And then goes on to say, seems like the game revolves around Prism Tower. Uh, your home base is most likely Prism Tower, and there is a shot of the main character in a similar uniform to the Bobo Bobo guy. So, yeah, I mean, obviously we had that kind of... Um, I guess base of operations in Legends Arceus, so we'd probably get something similar to that. A lot of people are expecting Prism Tower to be like the final area, like the final boss where you go, and it could still be, even if it was the base of operations, uh, but that'd be kind of a cool idea. So yeah, it starts off in the Prism Tower, that's kind of the center, and then we go around and build everything around it. Uh, I, I, that actually kind of makes a lot of sense. Uh, feels like Zygarde is an ally in the game because the little green one follows you everywhere, so I don't know if that'd be like a Rotom Pokedex situation where it's just kind of helping you out. But, uh, or if it's like a Scarlet and Violet situation where you have the Legendary kind of with you, but you can't really use it in battle and stuff. But yeah, either way, I don't I don't think this is that true. I mean, I, again, I don't think we're going to be getting like four new Pokemon revealed in the first gameplay trailer. In my opinion, it's going to be the starters. It's going to be the gameplay of what the characters look like, a little bit of what the game looks like, and then that's probably going to be it. Again, the next Pokemon Presents, if we do get one, is mainly going to focus on Pokemon Pocket because that's the game that's coming out this year. That's the one they want to sell. Obviously, Legends EA is going to get the hype up more for the trailer, but yeah, at the same time, I don't think they're going to be revealing that much. But either way, that's going to be everything for today's video. Let me know your thoughts on this rumor here. Uh, what would you like to see in the next trailer? Do you think this is true? And then also, uh, let me know your thoughts on everything else that we covered today uh, as well. But thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, drop a like down below. Let's try it at 500 likes. Say, leave a comment, subscribe if you're brand new. Ring the notification bell for daily Pokemon content. Have a great rest of your day. And until next time, peace.